Hello. What's up? How's it going? What's up? What's up, dude? See, it sounds so much cooler how you say it. I can't really get away with like, uh, <laughs> what's up? How how you doing? I think that sounds wonderful. Yeah, you're really polite, Chris, you big fibber. <laughs> hey, it's so nice to have a keyboard and a bass player in here because normally it's a blooming singer who tries to come in and get in on the action, you know what I mean? It's quite, it's a refreshing change. <laughs> Why should they get all the glory and all the fuss and excitement, eh? We'll try and uh, represent our <laughs> entire band yeah. Yeah, <laughs> as good as possible. Speak for them all. We've got lots of yeah. questions from the listeners. We're looking forward to your uh, live lounge um, a great deal. It's going to happen after midday. You can watch it on your phones, on your laptop tonight. Get involved. Um, okay, so I'm going to just rattle through some questions from the listeners, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. From your fans. Schmeels has been on saying your thoughts on falafel. We like it. Okay. Actually, one of the things I remember about Glastonbury is there's a uh, food stand that's called Just for Laughs. Oh, it's a good name. <laughs> but what's interesting is in America, we say falafel. Okay. So it, the joke doesn't really <laughs> drive falafel. It's like Just for Laughs. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. really work. Yeah. Are you a fan of a pun normally, Rustam? Do you like a little play on words? A pug? A pun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be so yes, random. Pun. Yes, it's <laughs> early in the morning for us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Do you like pugs? I know the falafel question was quite random, but still. Yeah, pun, I like a play on world, you know. Me too. A fish and chip shop called, you know, the place to be or something after the fish or... You know, oh. other, other such things. Uh, let's uh, battle on then. Manhattan's been on saying what's been the most embarrassing thing that you've been through in life in or life? recent? Whoa, that's a big oh question, my Chris. Goodness. Are you a kind of clumsy person? I mean, are you kind of... You, you know, I, I always get very excited when we play and I love playing. Mm -hmm. And my biggest fear is falling over horrendously. <laughs> and I've yet to do it. I came very close very recently. Where was And it? I know it will happen. It was in Sydney, Australia. We okay. hadn't played very many shows <laughs> for like two years and I almost completely wiped out. So that's... At least my greatest fear in terms yes. of playing with the band. Getting and what would you do if you were to fall on your back and you had your and you had your Depends bass on how there, bad, would, yeah. Would you keep playing and style it out and then maybe do that thing where you get up like and do a crab while you're playing? Would you do that? If I didn't throw my back out, yeah, sure. I would definitely try and keep playing. That's the the main thing. That's why, you know, we're doing it. If you did do your back in there, you might have to just stay down for the rest of the gig. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, yeah, over there. Yeah. Uh, if you're on keyboards, Rostam, there's not much that can go wrong, is there, on stage, unless somebody unplugs it by accident? You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> is anything embarrassing ever happened? Do people throw things or, like, nice things? Have you ever got hit by a bra or anything? Taking a bra to you the get face? get some bras. Yeah, what do you do with them afterwards? Do the um, girls, like, queue up for them? You we give them to our crew, <laughs> our crew, and then we never see them again. Oh, so I don't know what happens to the bras. <laughs> that leads on quite nicely to the next question. How do you keep yourself occupied on a tour bus? It says Westernly Motion on Twitter. Um, what do you do? So do you have your iPads? Do you have your, you know, do you oh, read? Yeah. Do, you, do you watch uh, films? We do all those things. Mm. We like to mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever? <laughs> we, eat, <laughs> we eat a lot of hummus. Actually, recently on the tour bus, we we played in France, and you know, after the show, they gave us all this very French oh, cheese. Yeah. Ooh. And la la. it ruined the, the whole experience Ooh. of the tour bus because every time you opened the fridge, it smelled like feet, which was very unfortunate. And if there's lots so, of boys on a tour bus anyway, is it a little bit whiffy already? It's definitely vibey. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the smelliest person in the band? I would say me, probably. Really? Yeah, I, was I say try not to be. Chance. That's not fair. He sweats during our shows, but he doesn't smell that bad. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> <t> <laughs> so there's the moisture without the scent. Yes, I think that's that's a fair assessment, yeah, of Chris. That's, that's better than being like completely dry but stinky. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see what are your dressing room must have says Ellie in Dorset who says by the way you were amazing in Bournemouth do you remember Bournemouth yeah that would be seaside? bad that would be bad if we forgot Bournemouth because that was only three weeks ago well you I know? don't know though if you're playing lots of places do you kind of get that feeling where you just kind of rock up and you don't really know where you do you write it on your hand does Ezra <laughs> write it on his hand so he goes hello Glasgow well, it does, it does yeah. say on the top of the set list <laughs> where we are yeah because you, I imagine you've got to, if you, especially when you're a tour. And it's, well, there's know. the Spinal Tap moment. I mean, I remember there was a time where uh, 
Kanye was in Sacramento and he shouted out <laughs> Seattle. This was maybe five years ago. <laughs> and you feel for him because you know, you know yeah. what it's like when you're playing somewhere different every night. But we take precautions. <laughs> That's good. Why? Uh, vampire, uh, question for Vampire Weekend. How do you feel about cats? I really like them, says Katie, who's 18. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like cats. Yeah. I have Are a you cat. Heard, have you got a cat at home? Where is home to you? Where, uh, I actually you recently hat? moved to London. Did you really? And mm -hmm. we had to wow. do all sorts of paperwork to take a cat from New York to London. Mm. And is it her, microchipped? Her, yeah, yeah, it is. Possible. And and her her ticket cost more than our tickets did. So. What's she called? Her name is Nona. Nona. And, and she's, she's about four, now, four years old. Yeah, yeah, and we're on the fourth floor of this building, and she keeps trying to escape. I, I was home last night just kind of watching some movie trailers on my laptop, and she jumped out the window. I had to go on the sort of like balcony narrow way and try and, and get her. Yeah, I risked my life for her last night, but I'm here. <laughs> Only, well, it costs a lot of money as well. I mean, hopefully she'll stay safe. Yeah, we'll see. it's a big we'll investment. See. Yeah, definitely. Die. Totally. Are you allowed to have pets on, on the tour bus at all? Like, you, you look <laughs> like a... You could bring a small dog, I think. <laughs> yeah. But none of us... Goldfish? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you should demand that, Ross, and you should demand it. Right, we're going to play a bit of music anyway. It was Sounds lovely good. to you. I think we covered everything there. All right, we especially did it all. For, yeah, uh, especially for your fans, everything from falafel to the cats. Um, we will let you go and uh, get ready. You're going to do a cover for us in the single. We're really mm -hmm. looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, awesome. Thanks for the chat.